Hi, it's Kev from the Shugglebox team, and today I'll show you how to get web links into Shugglebox. So we're just looking at a split screen here where I've got the desktop version of Shugglebox running on the right hand side of the screen, and on the left, the Shugglebox app is running on my phone, just so you can see how they work together. Now I've got this box called Read Later, which I'll just open now by clicking it. I'll also tap it on the phone so you can see that working. Now this is somewhere that I like to save things that I haven't got time to read when I come across them, and it's quite handy because it keeps them all together in one place. So I'll just show you the different ways that you can do that. The first is by clicking the plus in the bottom right corner of the screen here. And that brings up the card creator. And I can just paste a link into this box here. And as soon as I've pasted it, Sugarbox will detect a link and go and start to create a card. And as you can see, it's brought in an image from the article and the title of the article as the front of card text. And if I just click it, you can see what's on the back of it now. And here you'll find an embed at the top that will link me back to the original article. And it's also pulled in some content from that article, uh, which is for my own personal use. And I'm just gonna press the edit button here and highlight the bit of the article that I want to keep. Specifically this bit. So I'll just highlight that and choose a background color for it. And I'm just gonna go through now and uh, remove the rest of this content. It might be worth mentioning at this point that if you're planning to share a box or a card with someone else, just make sure that you've got the rights to use that content. Otherwise, just keep it here for your own personal use in Shugglebox. Now we're finished editing, I'm going to press save up here. And I'll just scroll down to the bottom now so you can have a look at the footer of this card where it gives me more information about where this card is stacked, the original link, who can see it and when it was added, and also uh, the option to add some tags to it, which we'll cover in another video. So I'm just going to close this card now by pressing close here. And I'll now add a card using a different method. If you're using Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge as your browser, and like me, you've always got lots of tabs open, there's a really easy way you can get the URL from the tab into Shugglebox. So in this case, I'm using Google Chrome. I'll just bring in my tab bar now. There it is. And I'm going to head to this tab here uh, with a YouTube video. And I'm going to grab this padlock here, which will allow me to drag the URL. And I'm going to drag it into the Shugglebox tab. And I can drop it here. And once again, it will make a card from that. And there it is. You can see that Shugglebox has made a nice looking card from that URL. You can also use the phone app to get cards in there. So let's just create one now by pressing the plus in the bottom right corner of the screen. And as you can see, it's quite similar to the desktop experience. Uh, the only difference here is that you'll just have to tap this area up here to paste a link in. And once you've done that, it'll just do the same thing that you've just seen on the desktop. What I want to show you from the phone app is that you can actually share directly from other apps. So let's just do that now. I'm going to navigate over to my uh, web browser, which is Safari. And don't worry if you're using an Android device, everything will be fairly similar to what I'm about to do. I've got this uh, article that I want to add into Shugglebox. So what I need to do is just press the share button at the bottom of the screen and choose Shugglebox here. If you can't see Shugglebox in this list, you just need to scroll across here and press more. And it'll be in this suggestions list here. Now what I'd advise you to do is press edit at the top and the green plus next to Shugglebox, which will add it to your favorites. And then I'm just gonna drag it up to the top, which means it will always appear at the top of the list whenever you share on your phone. So I'll press done now and done again. And now you'll see that Shugglebox is here in the list. So let's press it now. And it'll now ask me which box I'd like to save it to. So I just need to find my read later box, which is up at the top. Select it and press save in the top right corner. And once again, it's created a card. So it's as simple as that. I hope you found this video useful. And if you want more tips and tricks on how to get the most out of Shugglebox, head to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.